Hi everybody, this is John Denise and we're here today to show you how to bind up and set up your DX7S radio to the Blade 350QX. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in acro mode and I've already got it all set up here. And what you want to do first is go into your servo setup for reversing. So click down to servo setup, go to reversing, and everything should be set to normal except for aux 1. So we're going to scroll through so we get to aux 1, come down and reverse that, and you're all set. So we'll back up out of there. Next thing you want to do is go down to your throttle cut. Click on that. Right now you'll see it's inhibited. So we'll click on that, and you want to set it to your trainer switch. So now you're good to go there. Now the next part of the setup is you require in your switch setup. So you need to turn off your radio, hold down the scroll wheel and turn it back on to get down into the system menu. And then you want to come down here to switch select. And you'll see here it's got aux 1 already set, or flap is already to aux 1. You want to leave that there. Then you want to come to flight mode and you want to set that to gear. Now everything else should be inhibited, so check your radio, make sure all the other switches are inhibited. So now you're all set as far as that goes and we'll back up out of there. So the next thing you want to do is go to your mixes. Click on mixing. Come down here, highlight that, and go till you get to mix one. Then I've already got it set up in here, but what you're going to do is make sure you're, you're going to mix gear to gear. I'll show you, if you click on that, you can se select any of the uh, different functions. But let's get back to gear to gear. And you're set. So the first number you want to leave at 0%. And you'll see down here I've got this set to minus 100%. And that's where that should be. So you want to, it'll be at 0, but you want to set it to minus 100%. And then everything else is all set correctly, except for down here you want to make sure you're set to mix zero, switch zero, or mix zero rather, and you're all set. So we'll back up out of there. And if you want, you can set up some dual rates. So you come in here, set up dual rates, and you want to set it up on the aileron and elevator channel. We'll show you the aileron here, but again, all you have to do is click over to elevator and you'll be set. So you want to pick a switch. So we'll set on the aileron dual rate, dual rate switch. So you'll see down here, aileron. And you'll see the different positions. We'll switch from zero to one. So you want zero to be your high rate. So you'll see the dual rate is set at 100%. But we want to throw a little expo in there too. So come down to expo and throw in about 20% expo. And you're set there. So now you want to take that switch, put it down, and that'll be your low rate. And you'll see position one. So when it's in position one, we want to dial that back to about 70% of its full travel. So that's set at 70. We also want to put some expo in there as well. Do that at 20%. And as I said, you'll go ahead and do that for the aileron and for the elevator. So now what you want to do is make sure when you do set up the elevator, you click on here, change it to elevator, then slide down to the switch, and you want to put it on the same switch. So we'll just move that to the aileron dual rate switch, and we'll check that here. You'll see zero and one. In the same setup, you'll do zero be your high rates and uh, one will be your low rates. All right, now that we've got the uh, Blade 350 set up in the DX7S, we're going to go ahead and bind it up and check the operation, make sure your flight modes are all working correctly. So first thing you want to do is uh, install the battery in your Blade 350QX, turn it on, of course with the transmitter off, wait till it goes into bind mode, which you'll see the flashing blue light there, and now we're all set to bind. So with the DX7S, what you want to do just take the button, trainer button, hold it down, turn on the transmitter, and wait till the screen pops up saying it's in bind mode. 
and it should go into bind mode here in a second. Third. So now we're all set. So you want to check your flight modes. First thing you want to do is check, make sure you've got smart mode, which will be on your uh, flight mode switch, and you push that away from you, and you'll see you've got the green light there. Next up will be stability mode. So we'll flip the switch forward, and you'll see it switches to blue. And then the third one, which will be agility mode, will be over here on your uh, mix hold switch. So you bring that switch forward, and you'll see the light will change to red. So you're all set with that. So we'll come back, put it back in blue. Now you want to check to make sure that your return home mode is set up correctly. And you'll take your flap switch and pull that down, and you'll see the quick flashing red light, which means you're in return home mode. So all that's left now is to take it outside and check and make sure that your throttle cut works, which will be on your trainer button, and uh, you'll be set to go. So we hope you enjoy this video, and uh, hope it helped up, helped you set up your DX7S.